just miracles and I mean causing the main to be whole. That's still the one that just boggles my mind. People coming up and their legs cut off and the Lord's touching them and their leg regrows. People coming up and their legs cut off and the Lord's touching them and their leg regrows. People coming up and their legs cut off and the Lord's touching them and their leg regrows. People coming up and their legs cut off and the Lord's touching them and their leg regrows. But uh, just a real neat answer to prayer. Um, the video that I did about the attacks, current attacks on the ministry, um, there were two cases, open cases left. Of the guy, I, I, you know, showed his information, things just, 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 you know, showed his information, things just to, to show people how these infiltrators work and everything else. And uh, so, uh, people that try to infiltrate, we're going to be able to have access to their full name, address, the whole deal. We're going to be able to have access to their full name, address, the whole deal. We're going to be able to have access to their full name, address, the whole deal. Uh, unlike dealing with liberals that don't protect, I will leaving Christians like you know myself and you if you're a friend of the ministry. Brian Gellinger, the carnival preacher. Why do I use that wording? Because he himself did a sermon about carnival preachers and how these people who just get up and yell and scream and, and shout behind the pulpit, you know, and, and, and that, that sermon he did was preached back when he actually was, you know, uh, showing fruit to the spirit. But he did a sermon and he was, you know, showing the fact that his mind control, this yelling and screaming and everything else, he would condemn it. You know, he would condemn it, you know, among the IFB and everything else. Now, here's some fun little clips where he himself is displaying all the same, you know, uh, carnival preaching is how he put it. Brian Dellinger is now a carnival preacher. Check this out. This clip is from his video about why losers play video games. And, and you know, video games, obviously, you know, it's a waste of time, you know, with, without a doubt. But just look at the yelling and screaming, okay? And compare it to, like, what you would see from Steven Anderson, it's no different. Check this out. Okay? You're playing little games. You're a loser. Do you understand? People drive by and I'm there. Look at me, I'm playing ball. It's a nice property you got back in there. You, you got a cabin you built? No, nope, but I can sure throw the ball up and down. Watch, I'm working on doing it with one hand. Whoa. Loser. You're a loser. I, I, I beat Call of Duty, the, the, the newest one that came out. I beat it in three days. Loser. That's all you are. You're a loser. Well, you, I had the top score online, and, and I in my online gaming, I'm the I'm the top ranked player. Loser! You're pathetic. You're a loser. Your life is a joke. You're worthless. Ping ping ball. <laughs> Boy, I wish somebody would have told me this stuff years ago. But some of you little idolatrous little losers out there are getting all upset. And you know what you're going to do? You're going to try to find fault with me. Kill the messenger. Let's not deal with the scriptures. Let's not deal with the facts. That's what you're doing. That is what you call carnival preaching, just yelling and screaming. But if you thought that was just, oh, just one video, one clip. Well, here's another one. This one's from his uh, video, his sermon. Can't really call it a sermon. It was just the, the 40 minutes of him yelling and screaming like Stephen Anderson. It's called, you know, Why God Hates Martin Church. And not why, why God Hates Martin Church People. And, of course, the Martin Church is obviously wicked without a, de without a uh, doubt. But, again, just notice the uh, yelling and screaming about how he's, you know, yelling about how, you know, He's rightfully angry about the fact that the modern churches accept evolution, get rid of the old hymns, but just notice the, the screaming and the yelling and the carnival preaching. Check this out. But what is, what is evolution all about? It's about the philosophy that they get into you. And that very philosophy is what is carried out by the modern churches. We're better now. We're more progressive now. We accept things that those old fuddy-duddies in the past, they rejected. Those old, narrow-minded, bigoted Christians of the past. I can't even relate to them anymore. That's what the modern churches do. Oh, those old hymns? They should be buried along with the old religion. Bury them. Get rid of them. Wicked, satanic devils. And it's all because of evolution philosophy. That's what it is. Here is a, another fun clip from that same video where he's, you know, saying praise, you know, and again, I've done videos exposing Billy Graham. I, I'm not, you know, for Billy Graham's ministry. I've, like I said, you know, I've, I've done videos. I've wrote 
blog posts exposing him, exposing his Catholic connections. So this is not like a defense of Billy Graham without like what neither is this a, any kind of defense of, of you know the um, Jesuit stooge Rick Warren. Absolutely not. But again, this is just to drive home the fact that Brian Dellinger is a carnival preacher. So check this out. People have these weird notions, you know. Well, you shouldn't say those things. God's just not willing that any should perish. Yeah, but that all should come to repentance. You know what's going to happen when God damns these people to hell? We're just supposed to stand around and just bite our fingernails and say, Oh, God, oh, why did that happen? I see these pastors die. Praise the Lord! Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, Jesus, for destroying that wicked devil. Now some people have a chance to truly get saved. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for killing another wicked, lying, false prophet. Well, that's just the wrong attitude. Do you think God allowed them to die and he just went, Oh, no, oh, no. oh, oh, I didn't think they would die. He killed them. He knew why he killed them. And he sent them to hell. Praise the Lord that Billy Graham is dead. I'm thankful that that wicked servant of Rome is dead and gone. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord that Rick Warren has had to step down from his satanic cult that he was running. I pray God drops that disgusting minister of Satan. Goes to the Davos conference that planned this whole scandemic thing. Wicked minister of Satan. CFR member. And Lord knows what else that guy's part of. I pray God drops him dead. He knows enough of the gospel. He knows enough of the Bible that he could have gotten saved and walked away from that whole thing and come out and repudiated it and everything else. But he's not about to because he's a minister of Satan. He's a servant of Rome. But I should be nice to him. And I should just, you know, I hate him because God hates him. Yeah. Now, you know, Brian Dellinger has exposed Stephen Anderson, exposed the fact that the new IFB cult led by Stephen. And I've done plenty of my own videos exposing Stephen Anderson. I'm actually former new IFB. I've done well over 130 videos exposing Stephen Anderson, not trying to boast in any way, you know, not trying to give glory to myself. You know, I've just done a lot of videos. So, you know, I know full well the dangers of Stephen Anderson's cult and the fact that Anderson's sermons are basically the same as Brian Dellinger, you know, just yelling and screaming and kicking the pulpit and everything else. You know, Brian Dillinger may not kick a pulpit because he doesn't have one, but he just still yells and screams. You know, and he's done videos exposing Stephen Anderson for doing that, but then he goes around and does the exact same thing. But you see, he's allowed to do it because he's uh, Brian Dillinger. See, it's it's not a sin when Brian Dillinger does it. You know, it's a cult, no different than the new IFB. You know, and, and you know, video games, again, not defending it, you know, but... When he was struggling with it, oh, he was not, you know, it's, it's, it's a sin, you know, obviously. But then all of a sudden when he is no longer struggling with it, it becomes a salvation issue. Yeah. So, anyway, wanted to show you guys that. Just proving the fact that Brian Dellinger is a carnival preacher. Uh, he's running a cult, you know. And these are his cult minions just, you know, as long as he does it, it's okay. It's wrong when Anderson does it, and it is wrong when Anderson does it. And guess what? It's also wrong when Brian Dellinger does it too, you know. Just, just accept that and don't get mad when someone kicks your idol if you're a Brian Dellinger cult follower. Anyway, I wanted to point that out. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.